So, your CR touch is flashing red. I'm sorry to say that uh, probably means that your pin has become bent. To be honest, you're probably looking at needing a complete replacement because this is a precision instrument. If something becomes a slightly bent or out of whack, then um, it's probably going to throw off the rest of the system, which it did. <laughs> <laughs> Even after I tried bending it back, uh, this is my second attempt at trying to re-bend it because I realized I made a mistake the first time and I'll show you what I, uh, how I, I fixed it. But uh, yeah, temporary fix only. I think if it happens, then you're probably gonna have to get a complete replacement because I don't think you can replace these pins. So pretty much what happened is that it, I got the pin and it just wasn't retracting. It was getting stuck out like that. And so I took it apart, um, pretty easy to do. Just be careful of these um, little bits of plastic here. <laughs> you see I broke one off by accident. So just be gentle with them. Take it off and then all you have to do is take the pin out. And then I just did it by hand. Some people say online you can do it with pliers, but I think that this is a pretty thin bit of metal, so I don't really want to bend it even more and snap it off. So I just did it by hand. And the first time I did it, I kind of just bent it until it would retract. And then I was like, okay, great, done. But the problem with that is if you spun it around a little bit, it will be stuck again. <laughs> so I've gone through all this pain and suffering of my prints failing, and I thought that it was my extruder, and I thought it was my bed not being level, and I thought all this, and then it just, I realized that it's probably come down to this pin still not being aligned properly. Because things would print perfectly if it was right in the center, but if it kind of branched out to a large area of the build plate, then it would fail. And so I've, I've gone through, I've leveled the bed perfectly. I've replaced the extruder. I've done everything. The only thing that I can, that I can think that is causing issues is this guy. So I've taken it apart and I realized it's, it's still bent. But what I did was spin it around in small increments and then drop it back because there are parts that, um, may not drop back. And those are the parts you need to keep bending. But once you've given it a good bend, then you can just slowly take it out, spin it around and drop it. Just to see if there are any parts that are still going to be sticking out. Because as you can see, this thing moves around. So if you bend it one way and it fits, then this probably <laughs> means that another way probably is still bent the wrong way. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. All you have to do is pull it out and test it. And if it gets stuck, then be gentle with it and kind of bend it with your fingers, whatever way that you need to. And then once you think you're ready, you can just kind of spin it around like this and then make sure that it retracts completely no matter which way you spin it. But um, yeah, I think this is a temporary fix probably going to happen again it's probably going to get worse so um, if you still have warranty probably these things have about a year warranty contact the person you bought it from and say hey the pins bent can you send me a replacement um, and then in the meantime maybe you just yeah try this technique see if it works if it doesn't work or if the pin snaps off while you're trying to rebend it then I would say just disconnect the CR touch and then uh, reconnect the, uh, the Z stop and then just do the old fashioned bed leveling and go from there until you can get a replacement. But yeah, hope this has helped guys. Good luck printing.